So there's a lot of improvements that guys use, like in the field. Uh, you know, very low tech, but very reliable systems to kind of get wind at the position. Mm -hmm. And one thing guys do is the string. Tie a string to your gun. So explain, uh, explain what kind of wind readings we're getting off your string right now. Uh, because it's whipping and it's gone past the 45, that tells me we're at a 10, if not more. The more it whips, the more you've gone past 10. Well, the same with a Mirage. Once you start seeing those lines go wild and you go past 10, it's kind of hard to... But I could tell I'm at full value with my direction of fire that way, at least. Mm -hmm. So it'll give you a wind direction and an approximate... Right. At least where you're at. Yep. A big part of the equation, obviously. And like we always talk about, you, always, you don't want to just have one method to rely on uh, wind calls. So it's nice to have a variety of tools at your disposal. And this is a very low-tech... Way very lightweight, <laughs> inobtrusive. The batteries run forever too. <laughs> exactly. Well, here's the thing: like with a magnified optic, like a you know, like a higher magnification, you can go quarter out of focus and catch that mirage. Well, with like a four power, a one by six, you know, that's it's really hard to see mirage at the lower powers. Yep. So that that, that helps a lot. It'll at least you, at least get you an idea for the, your position where you're at. And on yeah. flat stuff like this, it's going to be generally representative of what's going on downrange. Right. What, what I do is kind of look at the. If I don't have a string and I shoot, the first thing I look at is like my muzzle smoke or, or dirt kick up and see mm -hmm. which way it's going, mm -hmm. and catch the wind like that. And then obviously, if you splash and you see it, which way is the wind going at your target area? Mm -hmm. That's about all you can really do.